Well, hello guys, welcome to the channel. I'm John. It's uh, early October and I'm gonna do some bow hunting today. So, it's, there's a cold spell came in today. Basically last night to today, it's been getting colder all day. Two days ago it was 80 degrees. Today's high is in like in the 40s. So significant 30, 40 degree weather change. It's raining on and off, nothing heavy. But it's a good day to be out here bow hunting, looking for deer. So I'm on the National Forest, Wisconsin's Chiquamagon Nicolet National Forest. And I got the traditional longbow, traditional archery. Um, wood arrows, and I'm gonna do, uh, it's my second season with the longbow. I didn't get anything last year, so, I got a lot of challenges, a lot of learning to do, but I'm learning every time I come out. I've been shooting a lot the last year and a half, so, doing good with the practice, but, got a lot to learn with the hunting, so. Yeah, I got a lot of challenges. I decided I'm going to ground hunt until I can at least learn how to hunt from the ground. So, you know, it's basically the hardest way to do it is what I'm doing. But I figure I'll learn the most doing it this way. So, I just walked up about a half mile up this road and I'm gonna come in here, there's a swamp that runs up to the highway. I'm gonna work the edge of the swamp here today. It's it's the afternoon, it's like three o'clock. I got maybe three and a half hours of light left. So that's what's going on here. We'll see if we can get any luck. I'll try to, any wildlife I can see, I'll try to get on camera and we'll see what I can do. Here's the spot I made. I stuck these in the ground here all around it. And I sit right on the back side of that tree. I'm looking right over on this point. I'm right on the tip of this point. So if anything came out of the swamp on this point, it should come right by me. Super quiet right now, but it's a little windy. My understanding is that you don't like that much wind because it it 
blocks their hearing, which is my benefit right now. I am moving very quiet, but I haven't seen anything. And I just keep moving along the edge of the swamp, but no sign anything yet. A little chilly, but I'm doing all right. I should switch to my warmer hat. Okay, this is another good spot that I found. You can see the water there. The reflection, that's the swamp. There's some water that collects. And it's pretty thick in between the water and here. So it kind of funnels them around the water. So I'm gonna sit here for a little bit. I'm gonna find a spot instead of my chair and sit on this trail. It looks like there's a trail that runs right through here. I'm not even going to go on the trail. I'm going to just go right, right here in these little pines, I think, and try to sit somewhere I can see it. Man, I hate sitting. I've been sitting for like an hour. It's cold. I am cold. I was fine walking. I'm underdressed for sitting. I don't know how much longer I'll make it. Alright, I think I'm getting out of here. I am cold. It's raining again. It is getting dark. I just saw a bird. And it's... I mean, I can still see, but... It's about that time where your eyes start playing tricks on you. And I'm pretty far back in. I got quite a walk through the forest. Felt like a good spot, but it's nothing, nothing happening tonight. Oh, all right, back in the truck. I did uh, jump two deer walking out. It's a doe and a yearling, so marked the spot on my Onyx, and I'll kind of look at it. Cyber scouting. It looked like there was a dark patch, a small patch of evergreens there close by. There's a big tree down that that's where I jumped him out of. It could have been bedded, but I don't know. Um, and they went straight for the swamp, so. There are deer. That's good to know. Good to see where you jump them and where they're using and what they do when you jump them, so. Tomorrow's another day. This morning, I 
slept in an hour or more than ideally should have, but still got out here pretty early. Um, there's actually a youth hunt in Wisconsin this weekend. So kids under 15 can hunt with a gun if they're accompanied by a mentor or whatever it is. So we're supposed to wear orange to Saturday, Sunday. So I got some orange on and I'm legal. Just planning on stalking around through this forest in the same area as I was yesterday. Just gonna stalk around and I'm looking for sign. I'm looking to find out where the deer are, what they're using. So I don't think I'll be sitting much today. Just taking a nice quiet walk. It's good conditions for walking, it's quiet. Everything's wet. A little windy, but take what you can get. There's a lot of old deer stands that I find all over. Little things on the ground like that. This is where I jumped the deer last night walking out, right around this big down tree. I assumed there was possible they were bedding here or they were feeding on the tops of the tree. But I looked around, I don't really see any bedding or anything. So I think it was more of a coincidence. But where I just took that break, is a, there's like a depression right there where it's thick. And I found something that kind of looks like a rub. I'm not sure. It's really rubbed out. It's either like a super common, like, ancestral rub where they're using it year after year. Or it's just a dead tree. But I think there's evidence of it being a rub. So that's pretty cool. This, this little depression might be a good spot to hang out. There's another big depression this way. The swamp's over to my left. Um, and this big depression that I'm, I'm gonna go over and check it out. Just kind of run the outside and see if there's any sign. This is a nice little spot, I like it. So right behind me here is the large depression I'm walking around looking for sign. I haven't seen much, but on the other side of me, there's another small one. And what I'm standing on now is actually kind of like a little hill, like an island of high ground surrounded by this lowland. And I just looked at the Ronex map, and there's actually another small one, like the one in front of me, just right there. So there's almost like a triangle or like a Y of high ground between these three depressions. So I'm gonna go up through there and look at that. But this is a nice area for, it's good cover here and seclusion. And it's surrounded, so if you were bedding down here like a deer, it'd be hard to get close to you without making noise because it's thick all the way around. So this is a nice area. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for sign. I notice too that I'm at the point where I'm looking at my feet a lot more, or I'm fatigued, you know, and I'm taking 
I have less energy to look out and hunt and what energy I do have is being used to watch where I'm walking. That's something I just gotta kinda learn to work through. After you walk for like a mile or two or a couple hours, you kinda get fatigued and you start just zombie walking through the woods instead of still hunting. I didn't see any sign in that bridge between those depressions. One thing is with all the leaves falling right now, it might be hard to see sign because leaves are just falling non-stop. So I think they're covering up a lot of the trails and the droppings and just everything looks the same. But maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just in the wrong areas. I'm on the south side of this depression now. I know there's a old logging road that comes up to it. I was in here last month scouting where I came from this direction. And I stopped at this depression, turned around. So I'm just gonna follow this little transition. Right there's the transition. I'm just gonna parallel this until I hit that spot and then take the road back. All right, here's the road. But anyway, that's gonna be it for me for this weekend. Jump some deer out. The spot. Now that I slept on it, where I was last night was the best spot I've found so far. It was a good natural funnel where it funneled the deer around that water with the steep incline along the edge of the swamp and then also paired with my setup where I was back in behind some small pines and I had some shooting lanes. That was a good spot. I didn't see anything yesterday. That is the best setup I've had so far. Um, but yeah, so that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. And uh, hoping to get out one more time in October. We'll see what happens. Bye. Alright, let's do some stump shooting on our way out. See that stick? I'm gonna bust it in half. Okay, there's a dead stump three feet high right there in line. Raised it. Okay, stick in the road, close shot. Maybe 12 yards. High and left. Little. Let's put it into that log that's down.